Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. African Youth Leadership for Global Health in collaboration with Global Health Focus organizes Global Health Emerging Leadership Program. The African Youth Leadership for Global Health, partnering with Global Health Focus, organized a two-day Global Health Emerging Leadership Program in Ghana from the 11th to 12th of September 2021 at the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, KNUST. The aim of the program was to develop critical thinkers, leaders and advocates in global health emphasizing transitional health issues, determinants, and solutions. The founder and managing director of Global Health Focus, Professor Don Elicio Lucero Presno, from the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine in Harvard University, hosted the two-day event. Attendants were postgraduates and undergraduates from the School of Public Health, School of Nursing and Dentistry, Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. On the first day, participants were taken through public health dimensions and definitions, health policy and health economics, their role in local and global health, as well as leadership development. The second day workshop aimed at introducing participants to global health issues and how to research health problems that are applicable to the public health. There was a presentation by the District Director of Health Service in Coranza North, Mr. Michael Mriku Opoku, on global health with a local focus. Participants were encouraged not to study their health course for the office only, but to study and practice it well in order to help solve global health problems. Interviewing the founder and managing director of Global Health Focus, Professor Don Elicio Lucero Presno, he spoke about the purpose of the program, what Global Health Focus does, his expectation for students from the program, and how Global Health Focus would help the participants. In this program, which is uh, sponsored by Global Health Focus, of which I am the founder, we try to engage young people, especially young students and young professionals, so that they can do actions in their lives and promote health and equity in this world. Here in this program, at Global Health Emerging Leaders Program, we want the young individuals to be doing their work at once so they can, they can promote uh, and do actions to improve the health of populations. Because particularly here in Sub-Saharan Africa, we have the uh, burden of diseases, which is quite high, and we want them to understand that they can do a lot to improve the health of these populations. One of which is they do research so that they can gather evidence and they can promote it uh, at the findings at the global level so they can influence funders, individuals who are, who are improving the health of these populations at, at the, at, uh, while they are still young. So they can present in conferences and we also teach them grant writing and eventually many of them will be penetrating or attending top universities of the world so that at the end of the day they will become global health leaders. The District Director of Health Service in Coranza North, Michael Mriku Opoku, explained what is meant by global health and how one country's health issue could be a global issue. What global health means isn't that necessarily it must be a condition that travels across borders, even though that is part. But we are actually looking at challenges that transcend borders. So it could be a problem that is not necessarily uh, an infectious disease, but it goes beyond Ghana, it goes beyond one country. He also spoke on challenges his district is facing. A health challenge in my area would be access, access to health care because the communities are scattered and they are far between. And so it's difficult for people to, we don't have adequate facilities 
within reach of the people because the standard we have set for ourselves as Ghana is that within every five kilometer radius people must have a facility they can access an entry point into the health system if you like primary health care so there are several communities that don't have facilities within the five kilometer radius where I am coming from so access is the number one challenge I would refer to the country coordinator for the African Young Leaders for Global Health, a FAMD graduate of KNUST, Kwesi Yilaj, spoke about the vision of the African Young Leaders for Global Health and its relation to the program. The African Young Leaders for Global Health believes in bringing up new leaders, that is to say, we are to take over the health leadership in some years to come. So this program falls in line with our vision and um, this collaboration together with other partners like Sompahima Foundation, Rise Above Hope Foundation, who are all coming on board to ensure the success of this event this year. He also touched on some of the activities on day one. Today is the day one and so far we've learned a lot. We've learned the introduction to global health leadership and then we've also been introduced to global health itself. Um, Dr. Beta Sewaii is also taking us through um, leadership development and Dr. Benson is also taking us through what we can learn from Ghana and compare it to other places since we are looking at the globe as uh, at large. It's global health and not just uh, public health or any other thing. We are looking at the whole world and how we can become leaders in future. Tech TV, experience educational television.